You know, I don't think the steampunk vibe of this Demi Trainer is a coincidence. I mean, it's piloted by Choo Choo, real name Chuatori Pan Lunch. I wouldn't be surprised if it's later revealed that the mobile suit has a firebox in the cockpit she shovels coal into, while she cooks up coal fired eggs on a pan for lunch going forward to avoid those pesky spations in the cafeteria. What is going on guys, MJ2005 gonna here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Choo Choo's Demi Trainer from Gundam The Witch from Mercury. Based on an older Demi Trainer due to the Earth House's monetary constraints, it's customized by Nika Nanaura for the house's sole pilot, Chuatori Pan Lunch, to keep up with the later models by utilizing hit and run attacks. Four runners, a wire, and a long and thin sticker sheet make up the contents of this kit, one of which stolen from the Demi Trainer weapon set coming in December. In terms of its construction, it's conceptually similar with all the G-Witch kits before it, with each body part made up of as few pieces as possible, held together by plastic joints and C-clips. Now I will say that due to the simplistic core design of the Demi Trainer, the build feels even simpler compared to those of the Gund Arms or the Dilanzas, so assembly shouldn't bear any hiccups or take too long. All in all, it's an enjoyable pick up and play experience with a cross compatible head, arms and backpack with standard kits, and swappable legs with other G Witch kits. After a quick assembly, you're greeted with a top notch representation of Choo Choo's Demi Trainer in high grade form. And generally, this feels very steampunk and retro because of the heavy scope sensor, three fingers, and the railing bars everywhere might want to consider a copper colored paint job. And it only looks this exceptional thanks to the superb color separation Bandai implements into the kit, considering the only sticker for its body is the chest sensor. The rest of what you see, including the head vulcans and the grey details on the chest, are plastic pieces. Proportions are generally correct, though the shield and the railing on the shoulders are a bit too large, with a healthy amount of surface detail for you to bring out, more than I would have ever expected from a high mock ripoff. However, what's with the yellow? It's way too light which makes it look tame and removes any roughness otherwise reflected in the line art, and it would be a sin to not mention that the mold lines are particularly blatant this time around. You might also want to clean those up. Blemishes aside, the Demi Trainer mold is phenomenally engineered for a high grade, and Choo Choo's model has given us a pretty good taster. All it needs is a chimney in place of the blade antenna. Articulation starts with the head on a fixed ball joint, which can spin all the way, and be tugged up for some basic rolling. The ball joints and shoulder sockets can swivel out, and up and down, while the shoulders themselves can roll, and rotate all the way. The shoulder armor is independent to perform the arm raise, while the shoulder shield is on a hinge and ball joint. There is a bicep swivel, single jointed C-clip elbows, swiveling wrist guards, and ball jointed wrists. The ab crunches are absolutely exceptional, while the basket can move to unlock a further force tilt before locking back into place. The waist can also rotate all the way. Front skirts can move, although a bit flimsy if you separated them, while the side mounted hard points are mobile. Full front and side splits are possible. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed C clip knees and rotating peg joint ankles that have ball jointed toes and swiveling heels. But unfortunately, the wheels don't move. Finally, the railing on the knees can move and the leg boosters can slide and pivot for adjustments. Altogether, the core Demi Trainer articulation and rigidity are absolutely phenomenal for what it is, though the one weakness of peg ankles is the limitation on adjusting the footing, so you might want to keep an eye out for that. As for accessories, it comes with a pair of holding hands and relaxed open hands, so there are some basic options to choose from. You'd need to paint the hand covers of the open ones though, or swap the original ones over if you're feeling lazy. The same can't be said for the armaments, as Choo Choo only equips hers with a large beam rifle, which does have stickers for the scope. It is equipped onto a cross-mounted arm, and charged by the backpack connected with a flexible wire. There's plenty you can do to rearrange the rifle, with some hinging and swiveling, as well as movable handles, and the backpack connection port. Albeit a bit finicky as you need to coordinate a lot of the joints to get it into the perfect pose. Otherwise, that's all there is.
Going into Choo Choo's Demi Trainer with high pre-established expectations and a bucket load of train jokes, I'm glad that it meets up to my expectations and warrants my solid recommendation. It made a simple construction even simpler while ending up with a finished product that requires no additional effort or stickers. It also feels fun to pose with the smooth joints, great articulation and sturdy overall structure. Though it's not without its downsides, the inaccurate yellow, peg ankles, and hassle of coordinating all the joints for posing the rifle and the minimal accessories are the main ones that are worth considering. But by no means do they devalue the kit in any way, as while offering a circus to do the punching for you, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer is a solid alternate Demi Trainer to go for. I certainly won't mind if this becomes the basis of a high grade Demi Garrison in the future. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys, Bye bye